Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to another gloomy day. This was like the worst May weather ever. It could probably be worse. It rained like every day. It did not, it's not putting me, it's not giving summer is around the corner. Today we have a lot to go through. May was a month that I sat down and if you watched my April favorites, it was very, very clear. I wanted May to be a month where I was a little bit more selfish. I did a lot of skincare routines. I did a lot of self-care self-love. I started a health journey. You guys know I love Sydney Cummings here on YouTube. She offers free workouts. We're going to get into it, but I started her summertime fine program, which is a 90 day fitness program. And I coincided that with eating healthier, because if you followed along in April, we were everywhere. We were in Nashville. We were in Napa. We did a lot of drinking. I'm not a big drinker. So by the end of April, I just felt bloated. I just felt uncomfortable. I'm very proud of myself. Claps and snaps to me. I did a good job of working on myself. And I feel like I am in a much better headspace in terms of my mental health, in terms of what I'm focusing on day to day. And I feel like I've been doing a really good job of just like staying in my lane and not letting things that don't matter bother me. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine that I did this month. I'm also going to be showing you the makeup that I use the most. We have acne products, we have skincare products, we have handbags, we have shoes, we have food, we have supplements, we have it all because again, I did a, a total revamp of myself this month and hopefully this will inspire you to maybe do a revamp for yourself, focus a little bit more on yourself in the month of June if you feel like you've really been lacking. And I also cannot believe that it's June. I'm very excited for the summer. I feel like it's gonna be a hot girl summer for me. I've been eating healthy, I've been living right. I just feel like the last few summers have been very sad for me personally. The summer is just a rough time for me because the summer is always my dad's favorite season, but I feel like I'm in a really good stage. I mean, that sounds so weird, but I feel like I'm in a good stage of my grief right now, doing things that honor my dad, that remind me of my dad and just bring me happiness on a day-to-day -day basis. So I feel like I'm ready this year to embrace the summer, just like the bobness that the summer holds. So yeah, let's stop because I'm already talking too much and let's hop into the video. I'm really struggling. I gotta be honest to find an SPF 50 that I like for my face. And I really need to find an SPF 50 for my body. Now I am not someone that lays out on the beach. I'm not someone who like bakes my skin. I used to when I was younger. I honestly look at pictures of myself and I am pasty white, but oh my God, I will see if I can find some pictures. I used to get super freaking tan. Like I looked Italian. Now I don't know what I look like, but I don't look Italian at all. I look white. I look pasty and your girl could use a little bit of fake tan. I like to hide in the shade. I get very hot very easily. I am a sweater. I sweat easily. It's just, it's disgusting. I'm also someone that doesn't like to wash my hair a lot. So all of that coinciding, I stay in the shade, but in case you didn't know, I'm not a dermatologist and I do not claim to know a lot, but from my own research, you know, UV rays bounce off of things, being water, being objects. So even though you're in the shade, you need to wear SPF. I tried a new SPF 50 for my face, which I like it more than the one that I was wearing, which was the La Roche-Posay that I mentioned in a favorites video. I think I mentioned it the last two months. I put my usual serum, my Shiseido Ultimune. I put a little bit of vitamin C powder. You guys know I like that. And that is what's on my face right now. That's it. I'm now gonna take this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. You can use any kind of mist just to give my skin a little bit of a slit. It's definitely not as good as my Perfecting Day Cream from Moran, but for an SPF 50, this is the best one that I've tried so far. Ultimate Defense. It's oil-free. doesn't leave my skin too greasy. I like that it's a pump. A line down my finger like that. It's a little bit more hydrating. It's a bit thicker than La Roche-Posay. And I also like that this doesn't get, it doesn't leave as much of a white cast. If you are someone that doesn't have as pale of a complexion as me, if you're darker than I am, I would not recommend La Roche-Posay because it leaves a white cast. And you know, you can rub it in, but with that one, I always need to really take the time to make sure there's no sunscreen in my eyebrows. Whereas this, it doesn't leave as stark of a sunscreen as that. Now I'm not leaving the home today. So I'm just gonna do one pump and done, but I would let this sit on my skin for about 30 seconds, do another finger of this and add a little bit more. But again, I'm not leaving the home. So this is just to prevent my UV, I guess, from sitting in front of the window. Um, and just to show you, this is nothing new to see. I am still loving this. This is the Uli Henriksen Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. It's brightening, it's hydrating. Y'all know, 
I've been using this for a very, very long time. I tried a new lip product that has been sitting in my Ikea dresser for the longest time, but I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just let things sit until they go bad and then I end up throwing them out, but I'm trying to not do that. So this is from Dr. Lip. These are tinted lip balms. They are super hydrating. They're not too tinted, 100% natural. This pink one is sweet potato pigment. I'm assuming that this is tinted with sweet potato because it's called sweet potato pigment. And then this one is red radish pigment. I love these. It comes in a set of three. I don't know what I did with the third one, but honestly, like I will just bop them between all of my pocketbooks. So I'm gonna wear the pink one. It's really thick. It reminds me of Laneige, except it's a bit thicker and I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. It gives a nice sheen to the lips. They're like the ittiest, bittiest bit pigmented, but I'm gonna let that sink into the lips. It feels super hydrating on the lips. It's very thick, so it doesn't migrate all over your face. It's really nice whether you're using it to prep your lips for lipstick later, which is clearly what we're gonna do because y'all know I love lipstick and we're gonna get there. Or it's just nice as a nice, how many times am I gonna say nice? It's really nice when you just want your lips to look juicy and shiny and feel hydrated, which you all know. I love. If I wasn't hitting record, I would put this little fan on. This is my desk fan that I leave on my little vanity right here. She comes in a variety of colors. I bought this on Amazon. I wanna say last year or the year before. I just leave this on my vanity because every morning I just, I overheat. And also if you are someone that experiences your menstrual cycle, right before I get my period, I am sweltering. Like I overheat so easily, especially in the morning. Like the, There will be mornings where I'm getting ready to go to work and I am just dying before I even put my clothes on. On. This has two settings, a low setting and a high setting. It also helps to set my makeup. So I will spray my face with a little bit of makeup setting spray. And then I will get close to this and just use this to help dry the setting spray to lock in my makeup. All right, so let's get on to the makeup. This is kind of like makeup skincare. Now my subscriber, Faith, my friend, she told me to buy this. I bought this during the Sephora, during the Sephora sale. I'm getting a little tongue twisted. This is the Sika Pear. I'm pretty sure I said it right at that time. Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So this is green, but when you rub it into your skin, it matches your skin type, your skin color, your skin color. You know what I'm saying? So I just like to use this around my mouth. I don't know if you can see. I kind of use it everywhere, but I start it off around the mouth and then I take what's ever left over. Why am I talking when I could just show you? So it says to use a moderate amount, but what I do is I take some, I kind of give myself a little cream mustache. Nostalgic for me every time I put this on. I don't know why the way that I put this on, it really makes me like, was it Nair? You know, like when we used to all bleach our mustaches, like when I was younger, my mustache was on fleek. Like I would walk around the house like this, like every other Saturday. I actually have a really funny picture of my sister. I'm gonna text her and ask her if I could share it. I have a really funny picture of my sister from like years ago, sitting at my parents' kitchen table when she was bleaching her mustache. I don't bleach my mustache anymore. I zip zip it off with one of those like little zip you can buy at CVS, but this is just nostalgic. And I let this kind of like sit on my skin a little bit in my head. I'm not a chemist, but I don't know. I play a lot with makeup. I play a lot with products. And I find that if you let products sit on your face, whether it's foundation, concealer, this seek a pair thing, if you let it sit and like kind of oxidize with the air, it makes it a little bit more fuller coverage. And then I blend it out. It takes away the redness in a very modest way. And this also has SPF in it. I think it's SPF 20. No, it's SPF 30. I rub it in around my mouth and then what's ever left over. Like I have redness all throughout my skin. And look at this, we're gonna get there, but oh my God, I've been breaking out like a lunatic this month. And then I kind of like pat, you don't need to do the most, but I have textured skin. So sometimes when I'm rubbing things in, patting it afterwards kind of like calms my skin down and takes away the texture. Concealer that I've had for a lifetime, Dior. I really just want to get rid of it. I'm kind of over it. I want a new one. Do this underneath my eyes and then around my mouth. Like I always do. I've also been really loving this makeup bag. Now I bought this a really long time ago. It is from Victoria's Secret. I bought this in my early twenties and you know, in your early twenties, you don't have a lot of money. And I had like very childish makeup bags prior. And I'm pretty sure I was with my aunt Debbie when I was living with her. And she said to me like, you should get a nice vanity bag. I don't like the Victoria's Secret logo. So I like to show it like this. And this was like my fancy makeup bag. And I held onto it for the longest time. And I was honestly gonna get rid of it because I love clear makeup bags. 
and I was using a very small clear makeup bag for my everyday makeup. But this is just so much better because it holds so much crap inside of it, like so much. I even have a hairbrush in here. This is my everyday work makeup that I take with me on the bus when I do my makeup on the bus or I leave it on my vanity when I have time. This is the Sephora 57 brush. This was like my favorite concealer brush for the longest time. It has a dome kind of shape to it. What is that noise? A helicopter? What is that helicopter doing? And I like this brush because you can like really get into the inner corner where I'm super dark. And that's the coverage. It's super light coverage. Like I said, see this little zit that it like won't go away. I really love this brush and I forgot all about it and I've been using it every single day. Can't get enough of this. I love both of these things from Rare Beauty. Bright Side, that's the shade, bronzer stick. Just there's something about a stick, like when you're in a rush, and I love how emollient this is, like when you're in a rush, you just get the job done so much quicker. And I love how this just adds depth and dimension and like sculpts me in two seconds. And it blends out even quicker, like even quicker. You don't need this brush, but I love this brush. I love the shape of it. It has a little angle here. I start underneath my jaw first. Just, I don't know. I, I just like to start here and I bring it down and look at that. That blended in like literal two seconds. Like, look at that guys. Oh my God, how good is this product? I love this product. When I'm blending it out, I will use this side. So you've seen me, I will continue to blend with slanted side. And then I just like, look at this nose thing. It just takes two seconds. So then I'll go on this side, the wrong side. And then I kind of just soften the edges, help further blend, and I kind of just go back and forth. Now you guys know I've loved my crown brush forever, but you guys can't get it. And I always feel bad saying like, this is the best blush brush, but you can't buy it. However, this is really good too. This is from OG, you can buy this. Oh, I have an itch on my nose. And then this has been the cream blush that I've been loving. This is MAC Glow Play in the shade Cheer Up. It's so good. And I just stamp it in here and then I stamp it onto my skin. I kind of just put some in the crease like I always do. And look at that. Oh my God, it's so good. But then to set the face, this is nothing. This is nothing new. I've still been using my Givenchy Prism Libre. I just really like this powder. There's nothing like this powder to set the under eyes. Take out any of the concealer that moved into my fine lines, grab my puff and just set. Okay, now since the warmer months are upon us and I do get sweaty, as I've mentioned many times, I like to take a sponge. This is like a little wedge. This is like an OG makeup artist sponge. Pack a little powder and then I pack it around my nose. I do this every spring, summer, just cause I hate when like in here gets oily. I don't know, I just feel like it ages you and it's not like pretty. It just looks like you're sweaty and I'm sweaty enough to begin with. I also like to use this to help clean up any nose contour, which I didn't really contour my nose, but I did put a little bit of that bronzer. I don't really like bake, but I kind of just pack this around the areas of my face that I don't like to get sweaty. Nothing new to see here. I just want to take a moment for the lips, like how it honestly just plumps them from the inside out and moisturizes them and then does that thing where it fills in all the lines. Like it's so good. It's so pretty by itself. It's so pretty with just a lip liner. Like I cannot. I can't get enough of these. I really loved this and I still love it. More for the convenience though. Urban Decay Stay Naked. This is in Rise. This brush right here. And I use the same brush for my bronzer and my blush, but this is the Cheek Blush Brush. And I take the bronzer and then I pat over wherever I put that Rare Beauty contour stick just to give a little bit of more warmth to my face, which Lord knows I need it. This kind of just helps to bring the colors a little bit more forward, give them more of a punch and also make it last all day long, which is important, especially in the spring summer months. I kind of hold the palette like this and I grab mostly the blush, but a little bit of the highlighter on top. I do that. So it kind of gives a highlighty effect up here. I don't know, I think it does. And see how this side just like pops than this one. And like I was saying, I really do love this, but I like, I don't know. I just feel like the blush is a little bit patchy when you put it on at first. It does get less patchy throughout the day. Like when your oils sink in at first, I don't like love it, but I love how convenient it is. I love that you have a bronzer, a blush and a highlighter. It's just good for travel, which is why I leave it in my little bag for brows. I Keep it simple. I love a gel and then I love a pencil, but I have been doing something a little bit different where I brush them up first. So I'm gonna take a spoolie, any spoolie you got, and I brush them up before my brow gel. I notice a big difference. I think it shapes them a little bit better. So I'm back on my Merit brow gel. I'm just gonna use this to 
help give a little bit of tint and to help keep them up all day long because there's a little bit of gel in here. Just has been like honestly getting everywhere. I don't know what's happening. I wonder if this is like expired, but I'm not throwing this out. I'm using this until it's gone because it's so expensive. And there's the brow gel. You could just stop there. Some days I do. I'm gonna take my Joa Precision Brow Pencil. I'm gonna take the spoolie first and kind of just clean up around the edges where Gel got a little wonky. Now I'm gonna just fill them in a bit with this super skinny pencil. I love this pencil. And just do like a little light fill in anywhere where I feel like I need a little bit extra hair. But I do this really light handedly. I love a big bushy brow, but I want them to look as natural as possible. Can't find my eyeshadow brush that I've been using nonstop. I think it's a Firma brush. I don't know what I did with it. I feel like it's karma because I filmed a video in Mike's office when he told me not to. And ever since I filmed that video, I can't find the brush. So I'm just gonna use this one from Scott Barnes, 61. It's like a little fan brush, but for your eyes, it's a very interesting shape. Just been using this from Il Maquillage. This is the News Flash, just a single eyeshadow. And I kind of just pick it up on the brush and I've literally just been putting this everywhere, which I need a little mirror to see what I'm doing. I just put it all over over my eye and then I frame the eye with it. This is not as good of a brush as the other one that I have, but I can't find it. But I've honestly been really loving this eyeshadow. I don't know, I'm very into browns lately. And I know you would look at this and think like, wow, that's very dark, kind of like nighttime, but you can make it daytime by just applying it with a brush and kind of like smoking it out. This brush is not the brush to do this with though. I really wait, I don't know what I did with my brush. I can't find it. And then I kind of like bring it out to give like an elongated, kind of like a cat eye with shadow. You see how that kind of just lifts the eye a little bit? See how it just gives like a little dusting? Like it's not, you can make it daytime. It's not like too dark. For lashes, I've just been using my Tweezer Man eyelash curler as I always do. And I am still really loving the Lash Clash, the brown mascara. Nothing has really changed. Uninhibited brown. How good is that mascara? Honestly, I really didn't think it was that good the first time I tried it, but I really love it. For lips this month, aside from this very juicy gloss that we've already talked about several times and I clearly love so much. Still cannot get enough of these. These are my favorite lipsticks, the YSL. They are worth every penny. Wearing this combo, probably the most. But when I'm not wearing this combo, I would say I'm on the total other end of the spectrum. I've been loving this red lipstick. I don't feel like wearing this today. This is my favorite red. I think of all time, dare I say. This is Hollywood Vixen by Charlotte Tilbury. And when I wear this, I pair it with my 1999 Boros lip liner. So this combo has been stunning. Again, let's give it for the, like look at that Cupid's bow. How good is this guys? Oh, this is probably like the product of the month, honestly. I'm gonna take my Honeybee Gardens, I'm back on this. I feel like I teeter between Honeybee Gardens and Max Strip Down lip liners the most. Line eye lips, like look at that. Two seconds to line your lip. YSL Rouge Volupt Candy Glaze. I think this is my favorite formula from YSL and this is in the shade 05. This is the clicky one, which when I first opened this, I didn't like it because it clicked and it drove me insane. But now that I know that everyone's clicks and mine is not defective, I don't mind it as much. <laughs> Look at that color, really subtle. And I love that these like stay put. They are very emollient, but they don't like travel through the fine lines of your lips, which nobody likes. It's kind of like a rouge look. Just very rougey. I look very flushed. My cheeks are flushed. My lips are flushed. I like to look a little flushed. And that is the lip. All right, let me put my jewelry on. Now let's talk about jewelry quickly because I have switched it up a bit. So in terms of earrings, I have only really been wearing these diamond studs that Mike bought me. I've literally worn these like every day. They make any outfit, but if you know me, you know, I love a hoop. I just haven't really been wearing hoops at all lately. Like this has really been, this was the earring of May. I mentioned this a few months ago. And it has really been my saving grace. I don't know if you can see the little flyaways. This is the got to be, uh, oh my God, what is this called? I don't know, but it's literally like mascara for your hair. I don't know if you can see these little squigglies, but I kind of just comb this through my hair and it's kind of like a hair gel for your flyaways. It makes such a big difference. And I love my hairstylist, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little mad at her since she rips all my hair because if you watched my hair hair video that I uploaded a few months ago, you guys know how much time and effort I put into taking care of my hair. This just has been saving my life lately. And I feel like this is a necessity for the summer, especially with the humidity, like the flyaways are just wild. Really good. I bought this on Amazon. 
I will link it down below. I love these. These are just like the mini travel wet brushes. And I'm just gonna brush my hair really quickly because I feel like she's looking a little flat on my head. I don't go anywhere with that hairbrush. My hair is driving me nuts though. So we're just gonna move on. Here are all of the rings that I've been wearing a lot this month. So we have the usuals. I have my wedding engagement ring. Flash. Cartier ring. This ring, that was my late great aunt's. Two diamonds in it. I get so many compliments on this. It's so cool. I love this ring. I wear this ring over here. And I have my Panther by Cartier that I wear on this finger. My David Yearman pinky ring. Husband's little initial ring in the middle. So this has been the vibe. Pretty soon I will have all 10 fingers with rings on them. And this has just been the ring stack. Again, this is my late great aunt's, my signet ring, my Panther ring, David Yearman, you know, the huge and my Clash Ring by Cartier, which I love. Love, love, love. And then in terms of necklaces, my evil eye that I never take off. And then I have this necklace that my sister bought me that has the number 44 on it because we know 44 is my favorite number. I took my nail bracelet off just because with working out, sometimes it like stabs me a little bit and I've been working out every single day. I have my love bracelet and I have the diamond bracelet that Mike bought me for Christmas like several years ago at this point. I always wear my Apple watch, but I normally never wear bracelets because I feel like they get lost in the watch. I was going through my collection and I really wanted to wear the cross. This is my grandma's cross from when she made her communion. So I put that on just like a box chain bracelet bracelet <laughs> a box chain bracelet that i have and then this is my rosary bracelet that mike bought for me when we were in greece so that has just been the vibe over here let's move on to a little bit of skincare now i mentioned acne in the beginning of this video because i don't know what's going on i'm just breaking out so so much not only on my face but on my body as well i love a pimple patch you all know i love pimple patches but i feel inclined to tell you peach slices are the best acne dots I've ever used. I love that they come in a little pouch that closes. They come in different sizes. So depending upon your pimple size or like when I'm home, I will wear the big daddy ones, these ones. They just cover more surface area. And so they suck more gunk out, which is disgusting, but it's true. And then I'll use the smaller ones when I go to work and I don't want them to be so visible. Although I haven't seen a lot of people wearing like colored stars. Like they're so cute. I love that for everyone else. I don't like that for me. Something that I have been doing that has been really good for my dry skin skin. It might not be helping in my acne department though now that I'm thinking about it because I'm trying to think what I've been doing more. I've been working out more which I think is contributing. I've definitely changed my diet. I've been eating a lot of protein and while it's healthier I don't know if my body's like adjusting to my new diet and that's why I'm breaking out. I have really dry skin. I wash my face in the morning but I only wash my face with like freezing cold water to take off my nighttime skincare routine and also just wake me up. So I haven't been cleansing in the morning and maybe that might be a factor as to why I'm breaking out more but I don't know. That's just been something that I've been doing and I wanted to mention if you're someone that has very dry skin maybe don't wash your face with a cleanser in the morning just you know rinse off your nighttime skincare routine with a little bit of cold water i have been breaking out on the back of my legs they are pimples but i'm wondering if it's like ingrown hairs i don't know so i am back on this paula's clear acne body spray it is two percent salicylic acid it has a nice little spray i would spray it but it's expensive and i need it because you know bikini season is a coming short season is a coming the back of my legs look like a mess i'm not going to show you right now but i am prepping a video. I have been using this for the last month. The back of my legs do look a little bit better, but they're still not great. Now I'm not really suffering from acne as much anymore as I am suffering from scarring. So I'm going to continue to use this to help prevent acne from forming on the back of my legs. But I think I need to start incorporating glycolic acid to help exfoliate my scars and then maybe use some Neosporin. I'm doing a video. So if you are interested, stay tuned. I will show you all the ugly photos that I took of my the back of my legs but I'm PMSing and I don't really want to do that today. I'm a little sensitive, so we're not going to do that. I do this after I get out of the shower, so I'm doing it on clean skin, and then I just let my legs air dry before going in with any kind of moisturizer. Super Goop Glow Stick. I'm definitely going to use this a lot in the summer, probably for my forehead, on my nose, like on my face when I'm not wearing makeup, but I've been using this for my tattoos. When I wake up in the morning, I just get ready for the day, and then before I go outside, I just tap this over top because I don't want my tattoos to fade, and I love how it's just like a clear stick. Again, I think this will be my most used kind of sunscreen in the summer. My new face. I do it at least three, if not four times a week. If you know nothing about it, I will link a video up here, but basically it's a microcurrent that helps to tighten facial muscles, which helps to tighten your skin, which makes everything look more lifted. I see instant results, but also it really helps to make my makeup lay down even better. I can't describe it. Give it a try. To conduct it, I've been using my Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I did, however, cave and buy New Faces Serum because I just feel like 
it'll make microcurrent stronger, which will lift my face even more. So stay tuned. I am a little nervous though, because this does a good job of helping the microcurrent move through my face, but it's definitely a little bit lighter. This doesn't hurt. It can burn a little bit, but it's not bad. So I've been doing this three to four times a week, which if we can all just take a minute to think of my April favorites, where I literally told you that I did not do this at all. Just knowing that I'm using this or not using this and how many times a week I'm using this, I think is a good indicator of where I'm at with my mental health, with my self-care. Moving into like my supplements, my eating habits, all that kind of stuff. I have been taking a multivitamin every single day. I gotta be honest, I don't really know if I see a difference, but I feel good knowing that I'm taking one. Live women's gummy multivitamins. I take two of these every day. I'm a child, I don't like pills. So when I can take a gummy, I take a gummy. These are what they look like. Oh. Okay. They don't taste good though. I'm not gonna lie to you. They don't really taste great. In order to calm my nerves, which I feel like my nerves have been a little bit better, but I don't know if that's because I'm taking magnesium or if it's because I am taking more care of myself. I'm doing, you know, I'm just giving myself a little bit more love. So, and the fact that I'm eating healthier, I'm working out. I think all of those things are encompassing my more like Zen state of mind. This can't hurt. So I've also been taking one of these every day, magnesium and ashwagandha. And I didn't know this, but apparently magnesium helps you sleep better. Should I be taking this later in the day? I normally take them both after breakfast, but let me know. I know some of you will definitely let me know. If you take magnesium, should I be taking this at night? I just wanted to mention this. This is silly. I don't even know if we can find this anywhere, but I will try. This is a go stack. What this is, is it's two containers that stack on top of one another. When I go to work, I like to bring snacks. Snacks being my Love Crunch granola that I've mentioned before so I'm not going to mention it again. Granola that I put in my yogurt. I found this this month. This is the Catalina Crunch. It's keto friendly cereal. I weigh out so that's something that I should have brought up here but I didn't. I have a food scale that Mike bought a very long time ago and I use it all the time. I've been tracking my macros so I weigh out all my food that I've been eating just to make sure that I'm within my fat, carb, and protein range. This is a cereal which has 110 calories per serving. It has 11 grams of protein. I've just been trying to get my protein in and on days where I don't feel like having a protein shake, this has been really good and I measure it out on my little food scale and I've been putting it in my stack. In terms of handbags and shoes this month, it really wasn't anything special. I have to say, again, the weather was not great. Been a very rainy and so I haven't had a chance to take my girlfriend out like she's still my YSL bag that I bought that I love I really haven't taken her out because I'm not gonna ruin her in the rain like I am no fool and I'm not gonna end up hating myself I'm just really waiting because honestly she goes with everything the closest color I have to that bag I would think is this bag this is a vintage Gucci D ring here's the ring right here the D ring I bought this on Poshmark a very long time ago and I love her it's just a very small bag if you're someone that likes to bring your life with you which sometimes I do would not recommend her because she does not hold a lot. She holds my phone, which I have right here. I can show you. If you'd like to see a what's in my bag, I don't know. I haven't done one of those. Have I ever done one of those ever? I don't know. She fits my phone. She fits my wallet. She fits a lip gloss, keys, that kind of stuff. But the problem with her is that she doesn't fit my Louis Vuitton pouchette, which I keep like all of my floss and my toothpicks and my breath mints and like, you know, all those little things that I like to carry. She's just been really good. I like her. She's super cute. And this is what she looks like. She's just like a little shoulder bag. In terms of outfits, I've been wearing a lot of navy. I know it's spring, but I don't know. I've just been really drawn to the navy and like, I guess like jewel colors. Shoes when it's raining, I normally wear my Converse or I wear the Nike sneakers that I bought when Mike and I were in Nashville. Those have been like my rain shoes. But on the days that it's not raining, which is few and far between, I've been wearing these flats and I wanted to mention them because they're just like, look how cute they are. These are the ones that I've been wearing the most. So I'm showing you the green ones, but I have them in green and I have them in white. Just picture this with like a navy outfit. These have been my pop of color and my otherwise like darker wardrobe. They would go really good with this outfit too. This is perfect timing that I'm wrapping up because Mike and I are getting a mattress delivered today. I think that they're here and the dog is about to go berserk. So quickly, let me know down below what were some of your favorites in the month of May? What are you doing to love yourself? What are you doing for self-care? I wanna hear it. I've been new facing, I've been masking, I've been working out. Honestly, working out, moving your body is like the best thing that you can do for your mental health in my opinion. What are you planning on doing in June? I need to read more. Every month at the end of these, I want to say what I want to do the next month. So in June, I want to read more. I was reading, I was on a reading kick at the beginning of this year. And then this past month when I decided to pour a little bit more into my self-care, I don't know what happened. I'm still reading Husbands. I just, I can't get through it. I don't know. I was really loving it. And now I've hit like a plateau and I just haven't really made the time. I love you guys so, so much. I hope that you guys know. I really hope to see you in my next one. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye guys. Mwah.